The Final Journey is a film four years in the making. Film writer Nick Baker Montes and producer Anastasia Bukowska first began their collaboration on the project in 2013. The drama follows 92-year-old Edward Leander, once a Wehrmacht officer and a captain of a Cossack cavalry division in Ukraine's Luhansk region during World War II, he again encounters war when he returns there in search of Svetlana, the love of his youth. The main character is played by a German actor, Jürgen Prochnow. Uh, the Jürgen part played by Jürgen Prochnow. Jürgen Prochnow is obviously wonderful um, and uh, a fantastic actor who put I haven't seen him play such an emotional part for many, many years. Um, and he, he understood this, this old character who's difficult. You know, he's a war criminal, he's not very nice, he's not nice to his family, but he's a, you know, he's a trauma, he went to war at 21. What do we know at 21? So he went to war and then he, he made wrong decisions, but he, he was also a human being who fell in love with a, with a Cossack woman. Leander is accompanied in his search by his granddaughter Adele and Lev, a Ukrainian they meet unexpectedly on the train. Filming was done in Berlin, Kiev and in Donbass. We shot Donbass in East Berlin, the interiors, apartments, characters, neighbors. All that was shot in Berlin. We only shot the Kiev part in Ukraine and all the exterior scenes like the route and the location at the railway station and the Maidan. The story of Leander tackles several issues, the conflict of generations, family values and love. According to the movie's director, the main goal is to show the complex ways in which war affects people's lives. But at the center, it's about a family. It's about one family and how the, the grandfather, his war affects him, how it affects his daughter, how, and then how that affects the granddaughter. And so it's about the past and how we deal with the past. And if we suppress the past, how can we move on? The script of the movie was rewritten after the revolution of dignity and the outbreak of war in Donbass. The production team decided to make it more realistic. The director visited Ukraine several times to talk to those who witnessed the revolution firsthand. Specialists from both Ukraine and Germany worked on the creation of the movie. 37 people came from Germany, the representatives of the German team. All the head of the departments make up artists, costume designers, production designer. All of them are German, and we got each one a Ukrainian partner. The world premiere of the movie was held in September 2017. Now Ukrainians will have a change to watch The Last Journey. The movie was first screened in Germany. Since then, it has been shown at movie festivals in Switzerland, France and the U.S. The director plans to visit a book festival in the East Ukrainian city of Mariupol as well.